Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not into the habit of responding to negativities, you know, because I'm a God-fearing person and um, God knows my heart. Now, there's a rumor, uh, rumors I should say, going around in respect to a gentleman by the name of Sir P. I don't know where he's getting this information from. And to be honest with you, I wish I knew where he was getting such false and degrading information from. My name is Tommy Thompson, Mr. Brightlight. In all my life, and uh, I'm, a matter of fact, I'm saying this with God to my witness. I have never once, and no occasion, ordered anybody to be killed or in any way, indirectly or directly, has nothing or anything to do with anyone who have died under any circumstances. Sir P, I don't know where you're getting the information from or if they are made up or you're doing it to get viewerships or whatever, but I'm asking you kindly to desist. Tommy Thompson Bright Light, and I will say again, God to my witness, I swear. He said not to swear in his name, but I'm doing that. No, if he wants to get an audit me, then he has that right to do so. I have nothing or anything to do with any of the allegations that is not being made by him. And I'm asking you, please, Sir P, to desist. Tommy Thompson has nothing to do with lizards. Tommy Thompson has nothing to do with my best friend, one of my best friends. And I said best friends. In the sense that wherever we go, he's always taking pictures like anybody else. And that's somebody who has been, uh, who was very, very dear to me. Up to this day, up to this day, up to this day, I can assure you. And that humble human being could not have done anything. I repeat, that humble human being could not have done anything to me or anybody that is around me. That would have resulted in his death. And I don't know why anyone, whether family, friends, on outside onlookers, sympathizers, would think that this gentleman, Tommy Thompson, has anything to do with his disappearance. Also, listen, I has nothing, nothing in all my years of business, which everybody knows I have made a massive impact as it relates to funerals in this country. I have no reasons, any reasons at all, to step out of my line of business to do something that is, I would consider, out of bounds for my services. Never, ever, ever done that. I don't own a cremator. The system is, in this country is so attached in direct contact that there is no way I could have done that because there are only two cremators in this era of Kingston and everything and these two cremators are professionals and they follow procedures you have to go through procedures and I don't think I don't know why anybody would bring anybody to me then under the circumstances to dispose of under any circumstances unless it is legit and legally done and I'm asking Sir P I don't know you. As a matter of fact, it's my intention to seek advice on this matter. I'm asking you, please, sir, to desist from putting my name out in a negative light. I'm asking you, please, to desist from your actions. If you want to speak to me at any given time, sure, you can speak to me. You can Google me, and you can get to me, and you can speak to me directly. But I'm asking you, please, kindly to desist from these allegations, which has no basis, has no merit. And I, and I plead that in the name of Jesus Christ, because I know me, and my God know me. And who is close to me, know me. I'm a man of dignity. I stand with a dignified standing in this society. I work hard for it. I didn't buy it. I didn't hurt people to get where I'm at. I work hard. I have changed this industry. I brought it to where it's at today. And I don't want my name to be flagged in any way. Thank you, sir.